I'm going to show you how to make rain bottle. It's very simple, it looks beautiful and very complicated, but it's very simple. First, you're going to make a California roll, and then you put the raw fish on the top, and that's going to be the rainbow roll. You can put any kind of fish you want, but for the color wise, because it's a rainbow, you need red, which is tuna, pink for the salmon, and a little kind of uh, whitish color for the yellow tail, and the avocado for the green. I already cut the other fish, tuna, and yellow tail, but I'm going to show you how to slice some. You have nice three thin slice. I have seaweed here, half seaweed, rough side up. And with my hand, take a rice, sushi rice, and spread. The rice temperature should be body temperature, so it's not cold, but it's not hot either. Now, I'm going to flip over, then crab cake. Avocado, the, the avocado or any ingredient, you don't want to be too thick because if it's too thick, it can't close. So starting with a little thinner than you think, it's easier for you to roll. And once you know exactly how much you can put it inside, then you can go for it. Now I'm going to lift up the bamboo with the, my thumb and hold it. Then. Put everything inside, pick up, roll. When you see me or any chef doing the roll, seems like they pressing hard, but it's not hard. It's just making the tighter. So if you, people, many people make a mistake, they're doing like this. That means you get flat sushi. You don't want to make a flat sushi. I'm just making shape to square. That's only I'm doing. So this is regular California roll, but now we're gonna have a little rainbow going. And then turn a little thin avocado. Avocado should be a little thinner. I do a little angle so that uh, it's not straight up, but a little angle. So again, the bamboo mat goes over, just lightly press, and then you have rainbow roll. Now I'm going to show you how to slice. In order to cut it, you need uh, saran wraps. Um, it makes it easier for you to cut it so that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, a little wet. Cut in half first. Again, cut in half. So now we just peel. Okay. Usually I cut it in the eighth. If it's a thin roll, I can cut it a sixth, but big piece like this, I suggest you to cut in the eighth. Otherwise, you get huge roll, so you can't even bite to it. All right, so this is how you make rainbow roll. Mm -hmm.